Cluster Truck is a game developed by Landfall Games in 2016 for the PS4, PC, and Xbox One. It's a game in which you run along the tops of semi-trucks in order to get to the end, combining the rules of The Floor is Lava with the gameplay of Mirror's Edge. Unfortunately, first-person perspective games tend to have really terrible controls, so will Cluster Truck succumb to the rules of its genre, or will it rise above? Let's find out in my mighty review of... Cluster Truck. Let's get one thing out of the way first. You will never find a game like Cluster Truck anywhere else. It is a true original. The goal of the game is to get to the end of each stage by riding on the tops of semi-trucks. If that sounds simple, it's not. You're not allowed to touch anything besides the trucks. No walls, obstacles, or the floor. And there are obstacles and pitfalls all over the place, forcing you to jump from truck to truck to get to the end safely. One misplaced jump and you're sent straight back to the beginning of the stage. If you manage to reach the goal, you're given a score based on your speed, whether or not this is your first attempt, and how many tricks you performed along the way, such as jumping off a truck in mid-air. And that's just the kind of thing that makes Cluster Truck so much fun. So what else is there? Well to start things off, I really like the simplistic visual design. There are 9 worlds and each has its own unique theme, be it forest, arctic, steampunk, or even hell itself, this game's got some great environments. And this is helped out by the simple polygonal graphic style that keeps everything looking neat and tidy. And then, there's the fantastic music. It's varied, fast-paced, and really great for getting the player amped up to take on whatever the game has to throw at them next. Moving on to gameplay, we have 9 worlds with 10 stages each. Almost every stage throws a new gimmick or mechanic at the player making for some super fun level variety. Everything loads almost immediately, which is good because anyone playing this game is sure to die a lot. And that's not a bad thing since this game thrives on its gameplay style of if at first you don't succeed, try try again. And again. And again. Over and over until finally beating the level. And if a level is too difficult, the player can always use the points they've earned to purchase new abilities in the shop. Two upgrades can be activated at a time, and while some are certainly more useful than others, the only real downside is that some of them don't have proper descriptions. For example, this one says I can do a mid-air flip, but it doesn't tell me what that means in-game. So I give it a shot and didn't notice a difference, so I honestly have no clue what it does. Still, I got to the end of the game using nothing but slow-mo and double jumping, so this wasn't a major issue. That being said, this game does have major issues. A lot of them. First, the game is completely physics-based, but the physics aren't exactly great. I mean, the trucks move fine, but certain things just don't make sense. For example, if you fly into the back of a truck and jump against it, your character flies into the air. But if you jump off the side of a truck, you gain a ton of forward momentum? I'm not sure why this happens, but it can really screw up an otherwise perfect attempt at the level. Plus, the trucks and certain obstacles have randomized paths, leading to some frustrating deaths. While everything does follow a similar path throughout the level, their exact direction changes slightly with each new level attempt. And with this many trucks flooding the screen, this can mean chaos and occasionally no-win scenarios for the player. Also, your character has no body. This isn't too bad since the game is in first person, but I have no way of knowing how big the character's hitbox is. There were many times when I hit a wall that wasn't even on camera because the hitbox is bigger than the player's view, and other times I thought I made it on top of a truck, but I was slightly off course and fell to my death. As if that's not bad enough, I also managed to clip through the world a few times as well. However, the biggest issue I have with this game is the controls. For most levels, they're fine. Run, jump, power up, simple. But for the levels with a lot of lateral movement, the biggest problems with the controls really shine through. Momentum can only be gained by running in the direction the camera is facing, meaning that when the player moves left, right, or backwards, the character will be really stiff and impossibly frustrating to handle. Thankfully, levels that require this kind of movement are few and far between, but I spent 7 hours playing through this game, and two of them were strictly on the final level. If that doesn't indicate a design problem, I don't know what does. 
I'm sure these controls are fine on the PC, where the more precise mouse can move the camera easily, but on a console, it's a complete pain in the ass. Oh, and the final boss needs checkpoints. In the end, I had a lot of fun with Cluster Truck. At its best, it's fun, fast-paced, and just a blast to play. But at its worst, it's frustrating, rage-inducing, and very poorly designed. But with the fast pace and the lack of loading screens, I can't say that those moments of frustration really lasted for a long time. In fact, if they were to add in PSVR support or the level editor from the PC version, I'd be more than happy to jump right back in. So with that being said, my final score for Cluster Truck on the PS4 is 7.5 Truck Nuts out of 10. It is a really fun game, but at the same time, I don't think it's worth the price of anger management therapy that it comes with. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what game I should review next. And be sure to subscribe to see more Mighty Reviews and next week's Nifty Recipe based on this game. And as always, have a mighty nifty day today. <laughs>